for a guy who loves seafood, of course, like for me, I love seafood, and I'm, I'm even though I'm about a couple weeks late in posting this video, but since the pandemic hit, sea seafood prices have taken a bite out of the, um, basically the pandemic has taken a bite out of seafood trade and consumption. Um, in Portland, Maine, the coronavirus pandemic has hurt the U.S. seafood industry due to its precipitous fall um, in, in, in imports and exports and a drop in catch of some species. Um, those are the those are the findings of a group of scientists who sought to quantify the damage of the pandemic on America's um, seafood business, which has suffered in part because of, the, of its reliance on the restaurant sales. But the consumer demand for seafood at restaurants dropped by more than 70% during the early months of the pandemic, according to the scientists who published their findings recently in the scientific journal Fish and Fisheries. Imports fell about 37% and exports about 43% over the first nine months of the year. Compared to 2019, the study said the economic impact has been felt most severely in states that rely heavily on the seafood sector, such as Maine, Alaska, Louisiana, um, which is what Eastern White which is what Eastern White uh, University of Vermont biologist and the study's lead author said. It hasn't, um, it hasn't all been doom and gloom from the industry as seafood delivery and home cooking have helped businesses um, weather the pandemic. White said the industry will be will be in a better position to rebound after the pandemic if domestic consumers take more of an interest in the fresh seafood. Shifting to these local markets is something that could be really helpful for recovery purposes, White said. The way forward is to focus on shortening the supply uh, supply chain a little bit. The study found that Alaska's catch of halibut, um, um, a high-value fish, declined by 40% compared to the previous year through June. So, uh, statistics for many U.S. fisheries won't be available until next year, but those findings dovetail with what, may, with what many fishermen are seeing in the water now. Maine's catch of, mon of, mon of monkfish has dried up because of the lack of access to foreign markets such as Korea, um, Executive um, said Ben Martins, who's, a, who's an executive director of the Maine Coast um, Fishermen's Association. The prices are um, the prices went um, the prices just went so low that they couldn't build a business do, um, doing that this year. Martin said the study confirms. But members of the seafood um, seafood industry have been hearing for months, said Cal Foley, who is a senior program manager for the seafood program at, Gulf, at the Gulf of Maine Research Institute. Foley, who was not involved in the study, said the findings make clear that the seafood industry needs more help from the federal government. And the federal government allocated $300 million in the CARES Act, in the CARES Act dollars to the seafood industry back in May. The government announced $16 billion for farmers and ranchers that same month. But it helps to make the case for why there's no why there's a need for more relief, and which I think is our industry's biggest concern across the supply chain in seafood. Well, said the study concludes that only time will tell the full extent of the COVID nineteen on U.S. fishing and seafood industries. Gavin Gibbons, a spokesperson for the National Fisheries, Fisheries Institute, and in, in McLean, Virginia, said the short term, um, set, um, basically the short term bindings reflect the difficulties the industry has experienced this year. The the the, the closure of restaurant um. Of, of restaurant dining has had a disproportionate effect on seafood, and a, and a pivot to retail has not made up for all the lost sales, Gibbon said. Yeah, but like I said, I love seafood. I like I, I like I like crab, and I like shrimp, and I like lobster and everything. I said that, and I said it's taking a hit on all three of those fucking things. That fucking sucks, I know. But if you like the video, give the video a like and subscribe to my channel, Ryan by Mike, and also hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified when a new video comes out, and thanks for listening.